Yeah, you know where we're at, man. We're at 42nd in International, man. Sideshow City, man. East Oakland. Earlier today, there were other illegal sideshows going on around Oakland. The rowdy crowd shutting down a massive intersection in broad daylight. Cars revved engines and spun their wheels at multiple locations, including 42nd and International. The sideshow community in itself is honestly a one-of-a-kind experience that I even tell, you know what I'm saying, people that don't are not into that stuff that they should at least come to one time. When it comes to the experience and, you know, just the environment, I mean, there's so much love shown around by just random people, like I said, from different cities. I mean, we all come from, you know, some people are separated by 300, 500 miles, but we still treat each other like brothers. Uh, at the same time, while we're taking care of each other, we're all turning up together, you know, we're having a good time. That's what brings us out, you know, the energy that feeling like this is our place to party, this is our place to turn up, and that's in the streets, you know, where we, where we just, that's, you know what I'm saying, that's where it all came from, this car stuff, so. My first sideshow I ever went to, it was right out of high school, so like in 2016, about December. So it's been about four years now that I've been going. It was always crazy to just feel the energy and, and go out there and, and hear all these cars, these loud muscle cars burning tire. You know, you smell, you literally smell the tire in the air. You feel, you feel the energy and it's just, it's just crazy. There's no other feeling like it in the world and the adrenaline rush is, it's incomparable to anything else. I'm Axel, I'm a Cal State East Bay student who's also a, pretty active in the sideshow scene, I would say. So my car is a 1997 Cobra, and uh, I bought it for a really good price about three years ago, and just ever since then, I've just been sending it. How dusty this shit is, though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro what happened? So our alternator's right, or mine is right here, bro. His shit was literally, like, deep in there. Uh, under the fucking motor, bro. Like, hella deep, bro. Dude, I'm, honestly, I just hope I get to swing today, bro. Bring some hot shit in! Bring some hot shit in, come on! Eden's got a big, big role in all of this stuff, but the photographer goes so much more than just taking photos. It's it's kind of like a a way to uh, expose the scene for what good comes out of it. You know, he's every time you go out there, people know who he is. You know, they look for his camera, they look for for put me in coach, and they're just ready for to get those really good pictures. So it's a whole community. You know, it's not just drivers. There's the photographers the people who are taking videos, the spectators who've got to make it happen so that there's even a show in the first place. Even if you don't have a car that's considered sideshow ready that can swing or do donuts or anything like that, you could still be part of the sideshow community. There's just so much more than just being a driver. There's so much more people involved. It's not all about the drivers in the community. My name is Eden, but for the longest time, everybody just adapted to calling me Ed. When it comes to sideshows, I think my key role within the subject itself is just being a photographer, honestly, and capturing everything that goes on within the scene. At the same time, I'm a spectator. You know, I'm there turning up, having a good time, partying, drinking, living it up. I balance being a CSU East Bay student on the other side. It's from probably like a year ago. Honestly, this is an example of like a, just a spectator ticket that I got. Honestly, I got somewhere in the town yeah. when I got to court or not even court on my summons day when I showed up to uh, The courthouse in Oakland. They just laughed at me and said we don't We don't prosecute spectators and they just let me walk away. So I basically just kind of wasted my time Pay to play is one of the biggest quotes in sideshows. It's uh, it's it's real, you know It's literally what it means. You have to pay to play as a driver, usually you run through maybe one to two sets in a single night. Sets can, can be pretty expensive, you know, a cheap, a cheap set of tires can go up to $120 and when you're going through those in one night, but then there's the pay to play aspect when things go wrong. Because you know, when you're, go, when you're going out there and you're pushing your car, you're doing donuts and you're pushing your limits, you mess up sometimes. You're, you're gonna hit another car, you're gonna hit a curb, Sometimes your engine might blow, you know? There's just so many different things that can go wrong. What's up, man? Trying to test these tires out? Yeah. How much would you say you put into your car total in its lifespan? I've... From the moment... You... I've put at least six grand into my car. You know, money money plays a key factor in everything, really. I'll tell you later. Things uh, coming outside oh, and play this game is expensive, and 
when you look at the numbers, like if you're not ready to put down some good money or get in trouble and have money ready to get your car out or even get you out, then this game just isn't for you. show related like there's just so many different artists that you know when you look at their music videos they've got sideshows in it I'm all black Kamaya you know there are entire songs dedicated to sideshows like you know Keek the Sneak has a song it's literally named sideshow Axel, uh, since about the middle school, honestly, like seventh, eighth grade, because we used to play, uh, we used to play basketball. We used to have mutual friends. At the same time, we were at school, we were getting in trouble together. But basketball is really what made us hella tight. You know what I mean? We became family members through basketball. You know, when you get beat up next to somebody or you stand up with somebody, you know what I'm saying? That takes a long way. When you get knocked over and the person standing in front of you is, in this case, Axel, like that sticks with you throughout. Even you know, past cars, past anything really. driver in the pit is really, there's no feeling like it in the world. The adrenaline rush, just, you know, swinging, feeling your car revving and the tire skirting and just, you know, being like one with your car, literally, it's, it's kind of weird to explain. There's no feeling like it. You literally become one with your car. Like as a driver in the car, you're one unit. And when you're really in the zone in the pit and you, you know, you're, you're sliding for a long time, you kind of it's like second nature, you know, you don't even think, you just go. I've seen so many cars hit at sideshows. You, you, you go to enough sideshows, you're gonna see people get hit, cars get hit, and sometimes it's, it's a, little, a little scrape, but sometimes it's, it's bad. And uh, I've, I've seen people who have been hit so hard they've had to go to the hospital before. When you think of the word sideshow, the first thing that comes to your mind is, for me, is cars spinning in Oakland. Sideshow started in Oakland in the 80s, way back in the day where these people would bring out their donks, their classic muscle cars, and they, they, they'd spin donuts right there on International. In the 80s too, people, hyphy train, you know, that's how people got through Oakland. They wouldn't stop at lights, they'd run, they'd run red lights, they wouldn't stop for cops, certainly as well. Um, people hanging out of vans, swerving through traffic, sideways, gas brake dipping vans, all kinds of things, Honda Accords. When you mobbing from spot to spot, I mean, especially like, especially when you when you hyphy train, and honestly, there there are no laws that come into play. If the person next to you is honking and running that red light, you running it right beside him. A lot of the times, it's usually 10, 15 cars going at the same time. I mean, if you think about it, if you're pushing through Oakland, you know, one cop's not going to pull over 50 some cars running the red light. You know, if somebody on the freeway is smashing 100 and they got their emergency blinkers on, they know where they're going. You know, the people behind them are going to be smashing 105, trying to catch up, keep up with them. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a one-lane exit or a two-lane exit. Um, if it's a one, it's going to turn into a two. If it's a two, it's going to turn into a four. You know, people are not going to get trapped and blocked in and miss the show. They're going to do whatever it takes to get from spot A to spot B, even if that's, you know, driving over the median and getting to the other side because there's some kind of blockage, or even if that means taking them on one, you know what I mean? 
when a car doesn't know how to really swing or get down and you know hits a crowd it hits somebody in the crowd or crashes or drives over the sidewalk I mean a lot of times you, they coined the word town tax and you know people will jump on cars they'll town tax they'll tax your car and to us that means they'll you know what I'm saying they'll kick your windows in they'll dent your car your, your car's coming home looking like it's chopped honestly it's not seeing the light of day ever again after a town tax I've been attending sideshows for about five six years now over the course of five six years that type of party has been different. Uh, every single time has just been a different kind of genuine feeling to me. Sunday services just became a thing where we came out, you know what I mean, it's various Sundays. So, you know, Sunday we'd work five, six, seven days a week, come out on Sunday and that was our day, you know, to, to give back, you know, to bless the streets in a sense. So Sunday service is all about, you know, giving back to the streets, blessing the streets and saying what I, what I tell people is just our way of saying a prayer, you know what I mean, shouting out, to the people that we lost and you know what I mean Sundays just became a unified day for us just like churches for family members you know what I mean people come together on Sundays you know families deep they cousins aunts uncles they come together and we do the same thing Hackney, we begin with some breaking news out of Oakland tonight a sideshow ending in chaos snapchat video shows people taking items from a truck before setting it and an AC transit bus on fire a lot of the times community members will look at side shows as, you know, really bad and that they bring a lot of problems and that they carry, you know, violence. Our other top story tonight, violence at Bay Area sideshows crossing a dangerous line now. For us, it's positivity. You know, we bring people together to keep, you know, violence out of the question, you know what I mean, out of, this, out of the conversation period. Um, a lot of the times civilians, you know, they'll come down there and they'll ask us, you know, how, how long do you guys do this or, or wh where are you guys from or what even is this? And, you know, a lot of times you get people that will throw things from the top of buildings or um, through windows or, or scream and, you know, say, you know, a lot of times it's racial things. A lot of the times it's in, you know, the richer, more predominant communities where they're just kind of, they're not used to that kind of thing. You know, they're not used to people seeing that many people in the street, you know, doing donuts, leaving tire marks all over the place, paving it, you know what I'm saying, blessing these random blocks. This is very dangerous for our community uh, because we have pedestrians and people in our community that are walking around and, and also the people that are on standby watching these events. You know, I'm like, you're always going to have a few people that, you know, mess the scene up and make the scene look bad, but it's a lot of the overwhelming positive factors that get overlooked. And a lot of times civilians don't get to see those side of things, so they're always assuming that it's violence or gang violence or gun violence coming to their neighborhoods and destroying them. I am 80. I'm what, what 79. You, what you about this? 79. She loves it. I'm not sleeping. I'm alive. Oh, no. I don't know, it's exciting. You like this shit?